like everyone to start asking or showing so you can show as well as ask um so this is just a q and a's it, it's both it's not only us the answer part there's no answer part it's about you as well answering some questions or uh, asking questions and we will that basically means we are asking you to also show some things that you found uh, either challenging or exciting like you know something that you concurred or something that you found challenging in particular i would like to know what are you aiming and whether your aim aligns with uh, what you do now so because as you have seen arnon has given us three expectations one is what is good and what is better and then what is great so where do you think you will end up or what are you aiming for and how much are you doing for your aim basically okay so to you Maybe Aaron, you want to start? It seems you had a question. Okay, if not Aaron, maybe anyone else. But Aaron, I think, are you there? Even if you don't have a question, you have to respond if you know it's i mean at this week i would really expect that someone their name is called yes, and not speaking i would find it a little bit uh, strange so please okay go on Aron. yes you hear me and here you know yeah i want to ask the, the brokers can you suggest how to create the, the test data that's uh, that are in the data in the in this data there are block files which contains question and answers so how to fade into ragas yeah. or how to make uh, to json format it's like uh, question answer context in the background uh, can you give me some hints I didn't understand what, what in particular. Sorry, we have a test data set uh, for uh, for uh, rag evaluation using ragas. That's our two question two uh, question documents, question and answer documents. So, how to make to the same format in order to fit the ragas in the form of question, answer, context, and ground truth. So in this case, I don't think you have context, right? It is, if I'm just presenting. Uh, So if I look at Raptor contract and then Raptor Q and A, so so this is the the Q and A. This is just a simple parsing, right? So you can just basically parse this into like basically by searching by splitting first into new lines and then uh, you know basically extracting q's and s because it's um and then q and yeah so this part simply you can do that right and now this is just answer only there is no this is only evaluation to the answer there's no context if you want if you want to convert this one into context then you have to go to the contract and maybe extract the context yourself but in in the case that is given it's basically just the q a so you you will not evaluate the evaluation will not be used useful um for context uh, matching or context selection is that your question 
Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, I would say just this is just a simple, you can export it into, I don't know, um, RTF or just simple text, plain text, and then do some, you know, parsing. It's very simple parsing, split by new line, and then put everything that's question, question, and answer to answer in a data frame or something. Okay. Uh, we have another one. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I have, a, I have another question. Yeah, yeah. Go, okay, maybe just before yeah, yeah. Go on, Aaron. Okay. Uh, when we embed, I try to use the, the hacking face embedding model, but the, the CPU cannot handle it. So, uh, can you provide the instance or no? Like we will not provide an instance. So maybe use just uh, like the OpenAI embedder, which okay. is the API. And unfortunately, if it if if you if you have open sources that uh, that are that cannot fit your um, your in your computer, just use APIs. I mean, you can use other API free APIs if you want to try something else, like um, Cohere and others. But I would say just for all practical purposes, you can use the OpenAI, the latest one, small. I mean, don't use too much to the you know the the large the large embedding window or size it's not good for your computation it's not good for our price the small already is good or use ada ada already also is good but i think more than ada it's highly recommended that you use the text embedder uh, open ai small version okay great yeah yeah A question on the document. Can you open it, please? Uh, there are some characters that are not detected there. Maybe they, they will affect the uh, accuracy uh, on the Azure document. Even oh, yeah. here, there are some dots. Yeah. So yeah. how can we handle oh, that? Right. that? That was supposed to be, oh, yeah. I think someone told me it's like, uh question one a no oh, yeah it's like it's basically i would say le this is the answer and yeah this is so exactly like that so handle it manually maybe yeah i mean i would say this is called just even uh, sometimes there might be spelling mistakes so for example here it's great but it's there probably are a lot yeah, yeah. Also supposed to be great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say just Everywhere. these are things, small documents. So you can this is clean thing or just dead, you know. And I would say because it's English, you can even, as I was saying earlier, for every question, you can also go into the document and get the context. You know, by just searching. Yeah, that we, that's the document we're gonna use as a context. And then, no, no. So I'm saying it's the... a selection. Yeah, but that's the, everything is. But you can actually select context as well, like for your context evaluation. So knowing what yeah. was the answer. So for example, knowing this question and this answer. So where does this? Where is this answer? Uh, uh, you know, this is called section. This, right? So mm -hmm. this section is what actually is your context if your context doesn't select this section you know that means something you know so this is what i'm saying you can, yeah, so this yeah. section thing that they they are saying they are telling you here is a context yes so yes. you can you can basically yeah like you can basically do this yeah uh, i was experimenting on the chunking and asked the the question i think question two uh the yeah the, the the score amount is equal to question to how much is a score amount so at the at the beginning it was giving me just uh statements that talks about the uh, scroll so uh later when i change the the chunking yeah. it gets it right so yeah yeah thank you i mean i think the, the most important part don't be confused it's not about the answer. I mean, yeah, yeah. like nobody cares whether yours is performing well on this particular thing. 
it's the methodology and the scientific soundness of the methodology. By scientific soundness means that it is repeatable and generalizable. And without mm -hmm. that, I mean, especially Arnon, he's a very scientific oriented mind. He will, he's not gonna be pleased or it's just, if you just get an answer, that's called good. The part that's more important is how much are you working to make it generalize, like generalizable, that it's not specific about getting an answer in one time, that you have measured reliably the accuracy and when it fails, what what makes it fail, you know, identifying this challenge. So, um, so it's important to focus on the methodology as well. I mean, the answer is just, uh, let's say, some part, not uh, the whole part. Yeah. Of course, if the methodology is good, the answer will be good. So, which is, which mm -hmm. are correlated. But I would be much more stressing that you don't try to just get excited by the answer, but by robustness of the methodology. Okay, okay Kerot, or do you have another question here? No. no. Okay, Kerot. Okay. Good morning, everyone. And uh, so my question is, uh, I have two questions actually. So uh, the data you just showed us, can we use it as a gen to evaluate the, gener the generated answers, the G part? Only okay. because it doesn't have context. So this this yeah. is for that. So this one is for, yeah. this one is to test the generate the generation component, like this part. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and Okay. But it's also, you know, so you have to know there are many components, the generation components say it's a cumulative thing. It's not like the generation component, there's no such thing. Just when you are evaluating this, the generation can be amazing, but the context was wrong, yes. right? So in a way, okay. the generation is the end part of the whole process. So in a way, it is dependent on every other component that comes before it including the quality of the chunking and the selection of uh, the context. So the embedding quality, as well as, yeah, the embedding quality it affects many things, as well as your chunking strategy, which uh, it's basically chunking means, you know, whenever you say chunking, think of it as signal to noise. For any of you that understands engineering, especially signal processing, it's basically, chunking is all about a re reduction of noise. So, or increasing the signal to noise. So chunking is all about the engineering phenomena of sig increasing signal to noise, or basically what you call filtering, right? Uh, and then the selection component is that's a statistical part that whether you are selecting the right samples, you know, again, it's a signal to noise is there, but once you have now a good signal to noise, which means the size of the chunk is determined in your bandwidth, then you are actually saying like, what is, you know, how do I distinguish or encode and decode um, the basically the signal, right? And then the generation component is of course, the quality of uh, how much this is kind of synthesized in a way, that means that the quality of the prompt, the prompt that asks, that wraps all these things, and allows so that means using chain of thought, you know, or everything else about uh, quality. By now, you know the impact of a quality uh, prompt. So if you know, LLM is not that new. It's just the same as any other engineering. It has different components. Okay, I hope that answers your question. You know? It does. It does. It okay, does. Thank ahead. you for the explanation. Actually, and actually. Uh, from task three, there is, I think, a fine tuning task. And I thought, uh, okay, let me get my documents. I'll show you which one, if you see this one or not. After choosing the model, I don't, I don't think I've updated on it. So, you mean three, task three. 
build the rag evaluation pipeline or what is that this one you're referring yeah okay i think it's on task four oh task four okay yeah yeah just a yeah. model development uh, a bit down yeah the last one yeah yeah i mean so this custom model doesn't mean like the entire you know model is a is a highly loaded term right you can think of it the llm itself is a model you can think of it your own like pipeline is a model and so model you know whenever it say it's model you might be thinking about having your own llm so this part is saying that but again you have to know what is this what are these lists does anyone can can anyone explain to me what are these lists don't be i mean really try to be okay maybe melat okay may, I, I know i didn't see so i thought like everyone is quiet so yeah melat or and then after that maybe abel if it's about explaining or if it's just your quote another question you, you but if it's about explaining this just please go because i don't see the hands raised please unmute whoever wants unmute and explain to me what these lists are how you understood them yeah i actually raised my hand to ask another question so i should just uh ask it okay. later okay good um so just who, who want to do that i mean all right so as i understand it's a way to un enhance our uh, rag method so uh, we can uh, kind of, this is a an example that we might try to uh, optimize the q and the q and the rag system uh, that we are trying to develop so uh, we might have another view of additional meta enhancement methods as well so that we can optimize the output of our rag system so i believe these are uh, some sort of examples that yeah, we might but it's it's just task four is all about idea it's not about implementation so i mean just if you really look at it it says come up with a list of five tasks that you suggest starting with in order to optimize for contract q and a it doesn't tell you to do it so that means these are you know five tasks that one could come so there are actually four in this case but and can you come up something more and the reason they are listed there is to help you also see what can be done but can you come up with something else? So now it's because be able to deeply explain this, the following at least. It has nothing got to do with action. So that's why even if this is, this can be your suggestion, right? To do that, but not, it's not asking you to do it. Now the task five is actually saying, implement at least two enhancements from your list so you you know you, why do you choose this like you could choose something else is that clear and i mean the, the part is you know online is so annoying i'm sure people are probably thinking attentive and whatever but for me i only see people who are afraid to be wrong you know and i know that that's not wrong that's not sometimes right it's just you know online I, I was expecting week 11 whatever people really understand us we, we have we have a common understanding and people fight you know, imagine imagine a scenario where we're so fighting to speak you know it's possible right it's like that everyone is really thinking hard and actively reflecting you know we're not having that because for no reason other than just we are we're not trying it's like, that's how i see it like you know there's a state we can be and then we're not achieving that state there are probably some challenges but in principle it's very very achievable 
So, and if we had that kind of active thinking and reflective and just that this whole community is a lot more trying together, you know, conquering things, by now I would expect people are not going to be afraid because they're going to be wrong or something. Or maybe when they don't understand, they would ask. But already, you know, I'm not saying we are, this is good. I mean, some, we are active, but there can be more. Anyways, so this part is really, I hope by now it's very clear that it's about listing this task force is about listing and thinking actively because as as i said earlier arnon is very much thinking or expecting people to be actively reflecting because he thinks you are the most smart people collection of people and you know you can come up probably with ideas that he hasn't thought before and and therefore he wants to list first here you know the type of um things that he's thinking and you know which one do you agree and which one can you come up so it's much more of a challenge for you you know are there other things based on your understanding if you're just only solving something without thinking this will be for you not you know okay you can't think even more than this but if you are thinking actively and reflecting you probably can come up with many other more that actually which he calls it great right? that he expects something great means that you're you're really identifying some things that he hasn't thought before and that not only you identify sometimes you then implement and make it make it better so i hope that is clear um then let's go to fanwell hi everybody can you hear me hi. yeah okay so my question is I mean, it also reflects on what you said about, you know, since we have a limited time, there are a lot of parts to focus on. So focusing on what is needed is sort of the dilemma we face every time. So there is a section on task two that says we should focus on user experience and I think uh, security and stuff. So that is more of providing you know, a full fledged application or something that can be used kinder. So, yeah, I mean, I was thinking to, about like, to, you know, to be like, to make it clear, you know, those are things that we add in such a way that you, you actually think this is also relevant. But sometimes, as I, as I think that what was actually in the challenge walks through what is actually usually said is the most important part in a way that we tell you exactly what are the key objectives. It's not building security. It's not building performance. It's not building about database. It is about the idea, right? So in a way, but we still list it there as part of, you know, as part of the tasks that normally it can be done. So you have to know we are sometimes providing what you can what you what we expect you can plus more in case someone is out there who even can do more than what we expect but you don't have to focus on everything exactly i mean the prioritization is important but the prioritization is really defined by the business objective and the business objective is build evaluate and improve a rack system for, for contracts q and a in particular just when when the challenge document it's telling you it's not about uh, it's about really the ideas that improve the quality the evaluation component so that means end to end of that evaluation yeah so i, I know that i i kind of cut you when you speak you can continue but it really <laughs> means you don't have to focus you know you have to prioritize in, in many places in real life that's what happens you have to prioritize there might be more tasks but you have to prioritize what's very important or key Okay, go on, if I may. Uh, yeah, I mean, you explained it, but yeah, I was saying, like, since we're presenting and this is an actual, you know, job prospect, so focusing on directing might be a good idea. Yeah. And the other comment that I have is I don't know if anybody else is facing it, but some of the medium uh, links are only accessible to members, so it's really hard okay. to reach all of it. Yeah. Okay, so if if you just point that as out if it's relevant we will probably download and and um and make it available so if it's relevant i mean i think for rug there's infinite um references if you don't 
I don't think there's one that would be better than the other. It's usually just selections, but if we think it's very relevant, we might we, we will do that. So okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, like since you put it in there, like I think it's, uh, it's about yeah. direction. So exactly, it's a direction and what we what we read or what we saw and what we think is relevant. But you know, it doesn't mean that is better than anyone, like or better than other references you can find. But exactly, it's as a start. There. Okay. Okay. And Melat, then you can ask now. Uh, my question was actually similar to Panwil, so it has been answered. Okay, great. And Magdas, you said, uh, is that a parameter that can be optimized like KC precision and wants us to come up with parameters that are big? Yeah, I mean, it's, so if I understand correctly, you mean by what they are expecting from you, what Lizzy AI is expecting from you, uh, that what can be optimized yeah so it's about it's all just ultimately boils down into exactly reliability reliability normally is defined exactly by accuracy precision and repeatability so that means in a, in a different contracts so you have to know contracts can be written this way uh, so this way right whereas you know if you have seen many things you can see like stock purchase argument this is the stock purchase agreement this this whereas the stakeholders whereas the blah blah and other times it might be written in different ways but for now i mean you know you will not you you will not have that much time to really handle maybe as long as you you handle the two examples so this is the robinson if we look uh it's basically there are only a couple of whereas but if you look at other contracts, for example, you would you might find a slightly different approach. Um, so because these are technical, tec you know, contracts are technical. So they have a technical, uh, but within that technicality, there are certain keyword choices. Either it's written in this way, or it's written in a certain, you know, the, the like, two parties are like that and they have agreed this and you know things like that it could be a job contract um like between a, an employer and an employee and they might be slightly different while if it is a contract for a much more country between two countries it might be written differently or you know things that would be slightly different but the usual way is that contracts are very explicit so that means they try to be uh handling the situations in a much more clearer and um, detailed way and they have a certain standard that means they use an ambiguous word and they use a certain format um, broken down into certain sections and most of the time you refer by those sections and subsections and sub subsections so i would say and for that to be able to handle at least in this case in your evaluation if you can even only handle within these examples that's fine within that to be able to accurately accurate usually means uh, has some meaning and precision and recall so things those are the the, the, the parts recall normally you would say like does it actually for certain questions if they are asked it in different ways but you know do you get the recall means that out of the actual it should be selected how many it's selected you know? high recall means it selects all of it and low recall means it actually selects only like for example if there are four sections relevant for a question that it only selects maybe one and uh, things like that so that's but it's within that exactly i think that's as you put accuracy precision and more um and and how how your strategy is improving those metrics. Hopefully that's clear. Okay. Anyone else? Question? And that I have also asked you, it's not only you, uh, I have asked you as well to, to tell me what you are aiming uh, from the good, the better, and the great, and what are you doing towards that? But before that, let Abel and Abraham. All right. So, uh... It's a bit of an insight I want uh, to I want you to give me. So there is a data provided with a JSON HTML, and 
uh, script to kind of create the data that train the test and everything. So what type of activities uh, we might be doing with that data? I think that's a zip one. Maybe I can answer these questions um, about this data. Yeah, go on, uh, please. I, exactly, I wanted to actually uh, call you. So go on. Yeah. Internet. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the script. The script is that just this data was called was uh, like uh, combined from two sources, and the script is just the one that like uh, put them together. So you don't have to worry about the script. The data itself, it has uh, it's called uh, as the HTML files are policy privacy policies. Uh, so these are like uh, similar to contracts, basically. And uh, you, the JSON files includes uh, question and answers and context. Uh, and so uh, you will have to do some parsing. You have to do some cleaning to the for the data, I think. But uh, it's you can use it basically for evaluation. Um, I think we are providing those data in case you don't have, you know, to try on something that has both context and question. Uh, and it, it's not identical, but the procedures you would have to do is similar. And it's the closest to contract uh, that we can find. It, in the one we gave you, the, the two contracts and the two question and answers probably are smaller. The other one might give you enrich that. So it's an enrichment. If you don't want, you don't have to do that. It's only in case you want more data to try and test. Does that answer your question, Abel? Yes, yes. Okay. Abraham? Hey, Abby. Hi. So, uh, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, affect uh, the performance of our uh, rug pipeline is the uh, chunking method that we use, right? It is one, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't understand how it affects the uh, whole performance of the rug pipeline. Um, again, earlier I mentioned about signal to noise. Let's imagine you you, you gave all the you don't chunk everything you give as a context the whole contract now the llm has to go through all of it to identify itself what's actually relevant imagine that there are so many confusing places the llm would be confused and is more likely than to answer irrelevant things but if you has if you had chunked and then only gave it that means you you reduce the noise only gave it the relevant context, then the, the chance it makes mistake is smaller now. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, yeah it, it, it does. It does. Yeah. So, so it's that. It, it, chunking means the size of the chunk, and the, the way you chunk it, whether it's semantic chunking, whether you break it down into sections, or you break it into just characters. You know, every of this is what actually the quality. You know, the key component for the generation is is context and the how the, the prompt and how you transform the question and how you dictate I mean the prompt means it, it the whole thing how you ask it and what kind of answer a format you get right so the prompt the context matters to for the generator and anything that impacts the quality of the context impacts the generation the answer and anything that impacts the prompt also impacts the generator. Okay, so uh, so and what can, what may, uh, chunking method do, do you recommend? You know to make uh, the, the the pipeline efficient and robust. I mean, I don't. I think we already Daniel in his presentation already gave a lot of. I would say the more the most important part here is testing different methods and selecting based on evidence. That means the evidence is what 
you are going to do, like the evaluation data. So it's, you know, I, I, if I know, for example, a chunky method that works so good for, let's imagine, for writing a poem, it's probably very different for contract. Mm. Okay. So you have to test them, what is available, and really measure them, put some value to them. You know, they're, they're, that's what's called evaluation. So a rag as it is, is just simple. It's that exactly what makes it super scientific is the, the evaluation. Okay, all right, oh. thank you. Good, Alexander. Okay, uh, let me, good, good morning, everyone. Morning. Okay, uh, my question is regarding the two, uh, task two, uh, which is task point, say, two point three, the integration of uh, the retriever one and the generator one. Does we develop AI? For I think for now, I would say don't too much think about if you have time, yeah, develop them. But if you don't have time, don't work about on anything other than the in, the evaluation of end to end of the rack. So that means from context, chunking, context selection, uh, prompts, uh, optimization, and generation. Okay, come up with my question. It is uh, almost addition. Uh, when you come to task four, task four. Yeah. Uh, idea to optimize uh, contract here in the uh, when. Uh, let yeah. me to read, uh, come up with a list of top five tasks you suggest starting. I don't know how. Does we uh, select uh, from uh, after evaluation or uh, it is related to pro everything? Just come up with it says come up with a list of top five tasks that you suggest. So you are actually this is not work, it's thinking. Okay. Now, after you do all of all of this optimization and things then you you now know you know what makes what could be interesting to taste what could improve because now you have seen challenges but you don't have time to implement everything okay. right so you now list top five things that you you think would really have uh, a big impact or you think will have a big impact uh, to optimize you know rag systems for contract clients so from your work and experience now, maybe on Friday you start really reflecting. And when you reflect, you have to be able, you have to ex be able to explain deeply why you chose them. You know, and some of yours, some of your suggestions can be one of them. You know, like mm -hmm. so these are basically examples and inspirations. Okay. okay. But um, to finalize my question, uh generate my I, my view the whole project passes uh, there are three provided data two types of provided data sets one for uh, the actual and the other for use for evaluation yeah uh we develop you, you, you don't have to do that so they, they can be i mean that's one good but you could actually do you know uh, five questions you know maybe seven questions from the raptor one Seven Q and A can be your training. Uh, seven from Robinson Advisory can be, and then this, you know, maybe like five two two or, uh, and then for evaluation you might use. So you might actually need also to mix uh, for training and evaluation. So you don't have to just use only one for evaluation like that. You can be it can be mixed as well. So some of from the Raptor can be used as training, or and then validation and test okay so we we provide the context to, to the, answer the context, the, to answer the, context our the context is not given yeah so you have to work you have to either like you know so so sometimes they suggest which one is the context here for example they tell you c section whatever so this is the kind of suggestion to the context okay uh Thank you. Finally, when we divide the characters, uh, for small chunks, the, the Lilium doesn't understand uh, well. Uh, it is, maybe it is a general equation uh, because the data that provided is not much uh, big. Relevant. 
yeah. or big. Yeah. So that that's called optimization. Yeah. So when we chunk the data, I take an example: 200, 300 words or 200 words. After after we chunk it, uh, finally when we evaluate, maybe our question is not uh, answered. So that, means, well. that means the chunking is bad. So you have to tell. I mean, if you're just using character splitting as a chunk, I mean, then you are, you know, uh, rag 101. You're not doing anything advanced. Okay. So, I mean, at this point, I don't expect people to start to split based on characters. I mean, there are many methods for chunking and you are, you are supposed to be exploring at least some of those methodologies for chunking, advanced methodologies. So that 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 one character word is splitting is one on one. That means the first thing you do. Okay, I, I try it before uh, not to use for the whole data set, and uh, I try one question uh, that is, is a, the answer is already provided. But uh, when I evaluate, it, it, has, it doesn't uh, yeah. find the answer. So it yeah. may come from I guess uh, from the chunk part or uh, yes. So that's why you really should use more chunks, more chunking methodologies, more, you know, explore them and find, select chunking methodology that works better for, for this problem. Thank you. Uh, okay. I have some Thank you. Good. Okay. Basile? Uh, hey. Uh, hey. So my question was uh, just generally, with regards to generation, how strict should we be in, like we want the LLM from at least the papers that I've read, we want the LLM to be generative and we don't want to restrict it to, like we, we don't want to restrict its generative cap capabilities completely in so far as like it will just give back what you give in the context, right? I, that's not what we're meant to do. So how do we approach that? No, I think I think for, again, that, that one, you may read it for uh, writing, you know, something creative or something uh, you want more knowledge from the skills that it has learned. Sometimes you don't need the skills it has learned from anything else. You know, the, the, the knowledge, the lawyer that, that has learned about the US law, probably you don't want them in Ethiopia because their knowledge is not relevant. So okay. in part, you really might want to restrict everything else except its language understanding. Oh, okay. So in this uh, case, probably you really want it to be just only it's, the you, know, you want to restrict every other knowledge other than if you can, if there was a knob that you would just restrict every knowledge um, other than just the legal understanding, I mean, the legal language uh, knowledge only. Yeah, so you don't need, you don't want the LLM to be creative here. Okay, and my second question will follow that. Uh, also, there, there is a, a, a thing with the correctness of the data. So we are to assume that, uh, like, what we have in the context is completely correct, right? Yes. We're not because this is legal. I mean, you have that's exactly why this is legal issues. Legal issues doesn't care about. There is no correction to a legal document. It is. It's like a smart contract in, um, you know, in Web three in blockchain. What is written? What was agreed? However, it was wrong. It is the 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 world, the universe. Anything, it, every judgment must apply based on what is written there and its interpretations, and its interpretations according to its country laws. For now, we assume that that one is not our role to think, you know, to worry about the interpretation of the law, but only just what is written in the context, in the basically the legal documents. So you have to know this is a legal document. It's not any other document. So you have to assume exactly everything must be answered within that. Um, all right. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. That's why when they say again and again, when it's written, the legal document is something different. It means that there is not any other documents 
It's not a scientific paper. It's not anything. It's just a legal document which has a very particular nature. Okay, Brahan. Okay, am I audible now? Yeah, you are. Okay, hello everyone. Like, my question is, you raised about the chunking before and like, I was um, asking myself how, how we can do uh, the semantic chunking. Um, it says like this, that we group um, chunks which are meaningful in a semantic way, they are similar if they are, if they are talking about the same thing, um, grouping them in, in one cluster or in one, in one chunk uh, is going to help us a lot, but how we can achieve that is also a question for me. So if there is any any idea you can... Uh, so, for example, in, a, in, in Langchain, there is the parent uh, something chunking methodology. It's a parent chunking or something, which basically says that you first chunk things, it's a, you know, it's an optimization. Chunking in, in another way to look at it, it's an optimization. It says, if you make it small, then you lose context. If you make it big, then you add noise, right? So it's you have it's an optimization between the two. So one way is to have to to chunk everything as small, and probably paragraph by paragraph, and then you then collect you then assign a parent that says okay, you know there is a lot more. Uh, in the parent, the parent contains maybe, let's say, um, 500 tokens. While each within the, that parent, there are children that each of those children are maybe very small, right? It's like maybe 100 tokens. So the parent has probably five children in that sense. So now when you are selecting, you're probably selecting based on the children, but you, when you give the context to the LLM, you're actually giving the parent. So in that way, you know, you, you actually increase like the LLM to have more context while actually when you identify, you are identifying based on precision matching, which is basically the children. So this is exactly the parent can be in your case, the same, like, you know, the context, the category of, uh, you know, the same, you know, some context. So. And, and the children could come from multiple paragraphs. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah. so, you. so you can use the lang chain that the parent with semantic uh, uh, chunking. Okay. So I hope. And now I was answering part of your questions you haven't no one yet answered my question what are you focusing and what do you think you would get into what are you what is your optimized you know focus or goal between the good the better and the great and what are you doing towards that and some people answer if my question is not clear please ask me back Yeah, Keroj. Yeah, so I'll be the icebreaker. Uh, so for today, I'm looking for good for today only. So I'm just looking for uh, uh, q and I'm just looking for to develop my work system, my work pipeline to that q and And I have been looking uh, through the documents and I have gained uh, some insights on what to work on and have some idea so from tomorrow on i will be uh, looking forward to grades and uh, just to add i think the parent that you mentioned is part, part of the llama framework uh, i don't think it's part, part of the light chain framework i think i saw it on the deep lear learning course yeah, but i think i think also long chain has the parent um, so i think both of them do Lama index as well as Lama chain, they have many of the chunking. So if I just so the parent document retriever. So this part is 
can give you example even how uh, this part. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Anyone else? Reasonable carrot, so that's good. Um, but for the grades, maybe you didn't answer clearly. What would you do? You know, what's your goal? But I think maybe in the next, maybe on Friday, if we have Q&A, you can explain to us how you are trying to achieve the great aspect. Anyone else? Alexander? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe try Friday is very wonderful because uh, for for me today, uh, I'm good. I have uh, some concepts and uh, the roadmap how to do the project. And, and already I said, uh, set up my environment and understand uh, some questions from you now. So I have been leveled by good. Maybe it is, uh, I think it changed for Friday. There, there is a Q&A Friday, is that? I mean, we will arrange if it's necessary, yeah, but we will, at least either we will, we will use the stand up as that. Okay, if it's a stand -up, maybe it is be preferable in the, during the stand up, there yeah. may be a Q&A. Uh, yeah. We have one more day uh, to submit the project uh, after that. Yeah. So that, uh, that is preferred for us. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Alexander. Rudolf? Yeah, good morning, Yabi. Morning. So to answer, yeah, to answer your question, uh, my plan so far is to, to implement first the naive one and to do basically, uh, I started and I will complete the other one. Um, is to just to have uh, first of all the the goods, and from tomorrow I will start looking for the better. And for the better, what I think to do to reach the better, it will focus on the optimization of different components. Uh, try a one, two, three technique of a chunking and see how uh, the model look like in terms of performance. After that, changing, uh, play with the two and uh, embedding system and see how it works and so forth. So on. So this is my plan. And when I get that point, hopefully uh, before Friday or maybe on Friday, then I will start looking for the gray one. So this is basically my plan. Great. Good to hear that. Again, you know, it's about, yeah, I think a reasonable strategy to get the progresses, but maybe you are missing the better one as well. Uh, so the better, I hope that maybe, and you're also aiming more progressive as, I mean, this is just the recommendation. It's not, sometimes you can really aim for the great, but based on your challenge and time, I mean, the, the one thing I want to hear is that is the time available and, and the kind of skill and knowledge and understanding and other things that you have. Is it, can it really, do you have time to be great or, you know, because optimization means normally when you are optimizing for something, it, it entails some work. And so you should be ready for that. Yes, but, and the amount of time and concentration you are putting also dictates how much, um, if you are tired, for example, this week, you might not be able to achieve some things, but that realism is important. So, but it's good. Uh, Mubarak. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, since uh, I'm starting, uh, I think it is better to start for the good uh, and increasing like the framework, the agility, somehow we can say it like that. And uh, when it comes to the implementation, is it, can we say it, it, it is enough uh, if we match uh, the generated answers in the uh, test data set? If they, the answer match, can we say it 
as it starts it enough or it is more than enough it is probably the most the great part but that's a whole point i mean that means if you something you are missing you can't it's not about much is big what you know it's like how much are you gonna match is the key yeah uh, somehow so you can't match if it's copy based yeah, yeah, so if you make it hmm? yeah I mean, i'm saying if you if, if you don't want to do anything you can match it by just hard coding it and then you match but that's a trivial work right but yeah. uh if you do it in a certain way matching becomes the most amazing thing you do that's the great part so understand the the word match is where everything lies uh yeah yeah i see i think uh, we we have to you mean the pipeline do something so that it, it gets something it generates something that you know that at least is reasonable so that's good yeah what yeah, is good the, is that it's reasonable yeah what is great is you have identified many challenges and addresses them so, and then in both cases you are matching except the quality of the match is very different yeah I see. yeah and and think about as well how how much of it you're missing how much you understand how much you miss and how much are you trying how much energy do you have to try something because almost always it's about how much are you trying to try to get something because if you're just trying what you get in the you know in the wave you know you can't be good but it you know you can't can't achieve great great is when you really understand and you are putting all your other knowledge towards it if you are engineer you are putting your engineer if you are a science you know you're putting your science if you are accounting you're putting your like when you are putting more knowledge more insights is where great comes normally so yeah but good i think um yeah yeah oh yeah um so uh, for the for the good or the better um my plan is uh, to optimize the retrie uh, retrieval first and then for the generation uh, I have started on the retrieval part. Uh, the first uh, thing I uh, did is to use the NLP frameworks for the chunking, uh, spicy and NLTP, NLTK, I believe. Uh, so, uh, and also the, the parent child uh, chunking, uh, it, 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 says it's good for especially for memory uh, you can locally save the the child chunking and later add if necessary add it to the the parent uh, document uh, so i'm i'm trying to uh, explore all the uh, things available on the uh, retrieval part and when I'm done with that, I will uh, work on the uh, generative part. Yeah, that, that's the plan. Thank you. Great. OK, great. I don't know then the order. It's Fanuel and Melat and Rahan. And then we will end. So Fanuel. Hi again. Hi. Uh, so my aim is for great. But as you said, like time is a big factor. and but i always like try to achieve the most of something so in trying to get there like you accomplish a lot more than you expect so that's my aim but for the good part like i'm trying to uh, create the skeleton of the project first like uh, minimalistic retrieval the uh, rag and evaluation set with ragas then after that i'm trying to go in depth with it and trying to implement different type of chunking, context retrieval and stuff. So if that is a possibility, I'll get to the better part. And after that, as you said, if there is a time and I am dedicated. So if I have that time and you know thinking, I'll get to the the, the great part, I guess. 
I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing that I shouldn't tell you now, um, but it's just part that I know. So Lizzie AI is, of course, as you, they told you what they do end to end, right? And they have a lot more uh, every component, right? So the review and stuff, they gave us only just the Q&A part. Sometimes if you feel you have a skill that you can maybe just the objective in this, so this is only just, that's what I'm saying. It's so only for this project, the objective. So they are also looking for great front end people as well as great, you know, um, back end ML engineers. So they usually want somebody that really, you know, is good, like in general. So you can aim where you can really shine as well. So if sometimes you can aim for just the good in one part, maybe great in another part, like which is not even asked. Again, this is exactly what I'm saying, much more of based on my understanding of this AI and what our relationship. So I'm just much more that is uh, a simple, let's say, you know, don't, you know, kind of almost always true. You, if you have something great in some area that could be useful for them, you can also be good somewhere so that you spend something, but then you do something amazing that probably stands out as well also in another area where you are very good at. It could just be in one area of it or it could be in, in, in another area. So I'm just much more putting it out there for anyone to optimize as well. But yeah, so let me stop there. Yeah, yeah I mean, that I know exactly what you mean. And I've been thinking yeah. about it actually, so yeah, yeah. great. Thank you. Okay. So Melat? Uh, I think I'd like to aim for the great, but as Fanuel said, uh, time and energy are the biggest constraints we have for this challenge. Uh, but uh, uh, my strategy for this week's challenge is actually to iterate through the components of the rock system and try to uh, make them as efficient as I can them to be. Uh, for example, what I'm trying to do is for the retrieval part, I'm going to look much deeper into it and uh, optimize it and then uh, for the uh, augmentation part of it i would try to optimize it as well and if it's if i could be able to make it i think probably maybe i can add on the uh, great part of the challenge but uh, i feel like i can land on the better Excellent. Again, just another hint here. Just, I mean, when I'm being reminded of something that I give. So, uh, so there are also, you can see the project into also areas, right? One area is engineering. That means how the code is written well, a modular, end to end. The other area is the science part, how you understand the metrics, how you understand, you know, the, the different roles and how you interpret them and other areas as i said earlier is just how you present and how you know things are put together so you can also you, you probably will not be great in every dimension you can't try um, but sometimes because of time it's very hard so you could also choose the area where you would be great so you don't have to be great in so maybe just you maybe if you understand really well these rock systems and stuff you might be really thinking to be uh presenting interpreting and allowing you know kind of coming up with ideas that could be where you re you would really excel or if you are very good at understanding the science part of it that means what are these metrics how are they evaluated you know what are their weakness and strengths and are there others for example you know like group three last week they have done using functions open ai functions things like that, that is engineering part, let's say, but like if you are trying to really understand the science component, which is a statistical part of it, if you are good at statistics and you understand how evaluations are done, the sampling component of it, you can be very special there, right? If you are in the engineering, as I said earlier, you can try different methodologies of, you know, this, for example, OpenAI functions or OpenAI GPTs or this or that. So just giving you a hint as well, you can also choose where based on your strengths to be great in in some areas 
where you'd be you'd have more chance you know to demonstrate you know again this is for everyone right you know it's like uh, just because it's reminded okay then antenna uh, sorry uh Brahan? actually that's my name so <laughs> it's the same no, but, but i just read for some reason after finishing that i read just your surname or your, your, your last name okay um I don't know. Yes, there are constraints, but I don't. I don't want to limit myself to think like uh, good is good or better is better. Just aim for the great, and like it's because it's about creating mental limitations for ourselves beyond the external limitations. We know there are external limitations, but what's much more difficult to eradicate is internal limitations. So if you limit yourself for the good or for the better or Melat said, yeah, I hope I can land in better. Okay, yes, you can land. Everyone can land in better, but can't you do better? Good, great. I mean, you can do great for sure, right? There are constraints, but never limit your mind um, given the constraints. Because that's the point that if you if you if your mind is limitless, you can go crazy and achieve something better in this time. So I'm going for great. It's not arrogance, but Yes, I'm, I'm going for that, and we're going to see what's going to happen. Excellent. So this is a good place to end. Um, yeah, let's eradicate our internal limitation. Externals are beyond our control. And make sure we are also reasonable and uh, optimal, uh, in a sense that based on resources and things we have. But great. So I hope this was good, and you are realistic, and you are also ambitious, both at the same time. So, yeah, let's stop there. Uh, thank you, everyone, and good luck. So, Ten Academy team, we can stop the recording then. Cheers, everyone.